Yeah, all right. Let's get this ready. Ready to rock. Ready to roll. Ready to go into Slurpee's YouTube stream. <laughs> Let's play this world. Yeah, it was a little bit of time. So, like, yeah, I've been kind of messing around with the new features and everything like that. So, I don't have any levels anymore. <laughs> I stuff I transferred over, which was pretty easy. It was just I didn't want to bother having to mess around with my character too much. I think all yeah, we still have all our advancements that we did in this game. So back to game. Still have our world. So I had to recreate the world, right? So I wanted to get the new experimental features in this game. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my recipes, which is kind of craptacular. Nothing is loaded in in that aspect of it. Beep. So now we're going to have to go and redo all, everything on that end. So let's go back to our world here and or to our base and just kind of get some stuff. I do need to work on on the farm today. So that's basically what we're going to main thing we're going to do. Uh, I do want to get like some of the other stuff in this game. I don't even know how we're going to get the stuff back into this. So let's see here. So we'll have all the trials and everything in this game. All the new stuff. The bundles, the villager rework. So that is all implemented in the game. So none of my stuff really broke. I just, all I did was recreate the landscape and transferred files over or whatever. I have been playing a lot of Stardew Valley lately. So I haven't really got to play a little bit of Minecraft in a while because I've been playing Stardew. I was thinking of whether or not I wanted to stream that, but I'm feeling like I'm having too many games to play and stream, and I kind of want to get used to Stardew, because I haven't played Stardew in, like, forever. Okay, so let's see here. I got all that stuff. Now, I don't have any levels or anything. I think I'm going to have to go and do some regular old mining to get all our stuff back. I think. It's okay. No biggie. I'll come in time. Like, I thought I could just, like, go in here and just grab, like, raw material and then it'll just start, you know, let, letting me do it that way, but apparently not and unlock features that way. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> it does it does that way. Okay. So I could just like easily maybe just just grab everything. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. <laughs> Like, I thought it would just be able to, like, I thought it'd be able to, like, just grab some cobble or stone or whatever. I may need to grab some sticks and wood. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is just, like, not, like, coming back up slowly. That's what happens when you have to recreate a world. Just for experimental features. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I got enough stuff here, it's fine. 
It's all right. We'll get there eventually. I just didn't want to have to restart a stinking world. Just for the new features and stuff like that. I didn't cheat in anything and still got, like, really, I got everything legitimately. Okay, whatever. We're good. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're going to have to redo everything. I want to get my levels back up, too, eventually. But, you know what? Screw it. Let's just start the building and hopefully our... We will get our features as we go when we're continuing building or whatever. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. I might have to go back to those village. I don't know if those villagers reset or anything. I don't know what I really messed up in this world. Okay, what kind of stuff do we have? Okay. Chains. I don't remember what I have. Kind of stuff I have to mess around with. I don't think I have anything I can really build with. I got to think about what I'm going to use. I do have terracotta. I don't want to really want to use... Regular terracotta. I think I'm going to use the uh, green terracotta. I don't think I have a cactus farm or anything like that. Or any green whatsoever. I don't know. Maybe I should check my chest. I don't know. Can't remember. I think I have to go and get some cactus. Lucky for me, there is not a desert. There's a desert like super close by anyway. We'll do a, like a really quick cactus farm or whatever. Stupid beach. <laughs> I think I should just cut through this beach. It's like the longest way to get to the Not exactly the quickest way to get there, but that's okay. It's fine. Like I see cactus. I don't think that's cactus. I got a whole heap of world in this in this place. Yeah, this is a pretty neat setup, honestly. And I don't have very very much uh, coral in this world. That's my only my only beef with this world. There's not enough coral. I've searched everywhere for coral. Get my axe. Where's my meat? Give me one of those big fat guys that eats meat all the time. Beautiful. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, I might use that later for future. I think that's a more than enough cactus that we need anyway. I'm gonna just like put all this cactus in a stinking furnace anyway. I'm not in a big, huge rush. This is kind of more of a chill stream. Just relax. Sit back, relax, and watch me play. All right, so... Yeah, I'm just kind of, like, taking a re-inventory. Like I said, I haven't played in, like, a while. 
since last, I think it was Sunday I was playing. I still need to find another sniffer egg around here too. Got a long list of stuff that I need. What is going on over there? I just hope all, all this stuff didn't have to, like, the chest respawn. I don't really want that to happen. I don't know if I really screwed up this world either, since I had to transfer all the files over. And I wanted to get to the experimental snapshot now because I didn't want the uh, trials to be like all over the place, like too close to each other. I want it to be like a little bit of a challenge. So I'll head back to, well, make a quick and dirty cactus farm, I think. I could make it automatic, but I don't think I need that much cactus. Like, what all other purposes do we have for cactus other than to break stuff? And I'm not really a redstone guy either. Okay. Let's go see if we have more chow on us, too. I don't know where I put my chow. Where's my chow? Chow, cha 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 cha. Okay, there's no. F I could have sworn I made like a whole bunch of food somewhere. It's alright. I could just go and kill more cows. It'll be fine. Die, cow! Should be more than enough. <laughs> Does it not take very much? I just want at least a stack. God damn it. There it is. <laughs> uh, of course. Okay, let's do a stack of that crap. Gimme. There you go. Here's my leather. I was out in the street wearing my leather, and Officer Leroy came over. I'm like, whatever. Okay, so why are we going to stick this cactus farm so we don't get hurt or in my way? Yeah, it works here. Fine, whatever. Right about, nah. Get that about that height, I guess. This place is not supposed to be pretty. It's just functional. It's more just a work area. I'll leave all the buildings in the areas that I'd, I'd like to build in. Like the island I'm working on. I usually, that's what I do. Man, I have so much melon. Probably have like a ton. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, that should be enough. All right. Uh, yeah, and we'll leave that in there. So we'll leave that there for now. I think well, what we'll do is we'll work on the greenhouse first, and then we'll work on... Like, once we get, like, enough, um, 
green cacti there. Where is my glass? Your ass is glass. I need to label this shit. I might actually have to smelt some. There it is. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the uh, plain glass, I guess. I do like the colored glass to make other buildings a little bit unique. And, oh yeah, we'll take that. I think we will leave the bricks and the granite. Go away, Scoot. Take go away, Scoot. <laughs> go away. I don't need any more of you. Useless. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll have that, 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 that. What else should we build with? I don't know what else we can use to make. Maybe we'll use, like, I don't want to use dark wood too much. But I think that will look awful. I think that will look really, really gross. We'll leave all the plants and everything for later. I should probably make some coarse dirt. Because I kind of want to make the floor of it to be a little bit... Uh, A little bit coarse dirty i think let's just go like this yes yeah it's night time so i get a little bit of, like coarse dirt on the ground there I think we're going to use, like, I want to make it a little bit, um, not like a, a thick, uh, building. So I'm going to use kind of like a little bit more fencing material, maybe. And I don't want to use too much light material either. Now we'll just go with that. That'll be fine. I think that will be beautiful enough, I think. Yeah, let's get back. It was kind of nice uh, having today off, finally. I've been a little bit stressed out at work lately. It's just nice to be off. I think I do have some wood over here. I do have some spruce growing here, but like I said, this is not going to be a super huge building. I think I'm going to need some thicker glass, maybe. I don't know if I want to do it all glass or if I'm just going to use... Just glass on the sides and then have like a different roof or something. I wonder if they'll ever make like stair glass blocks. Maybe they should just make a stair variant for everything. That would be my theory on that. That's, that's what should happen. A stair variant for every single block we have. I don't mind this thing, but it's also kind of a pain in the ass to be going up. Kicks me out once in a while. Okay. All right, so pop that out. I do like the size of this, and I think this is like more than enough that we need. And I'm going to keep it 
I could add in some some other things in there here too, but I think I'm going to use is this to like basically put our plants and stuff on for the greenhouse. He's a little bit janky, but whatever. And I think we'll use like the stair stair variant for this on the whole entire exterior of this. I think I left the stairs on my boat. <laughs> All right, where, yeah, there we go. Give me all that. I don't remember if I left a crafting bench in here or not. I did leave my saw, no crafting bench. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I walked right past it, okay. Of course. Yeah, it's going to take a while for us to get the recipe, all our recipes and everything back. So I think we'll do that. that. This actually might be like a little bit too small. Possibly. We'll see. Let's just all an experiment anyway. Yeah, I don't like how narrow this part is, but it is just a green house. Kind of don't want to use mud brick all the way. Like I said, I wanted to make it like kind of thinnish. And this might not work right here, so we'll just might cut that out. Like I said, I might have to just like, I don't know. Cut that out a little bit. It is supposed to look kind of rustic. In a way, but I don't want to use too much like heavy looking material either. It might not look good with it. Actually, let's see how this looks here. Yeah, that doesn't attach. That's kind of crappy. Unless. Yeah, there's a reason why I kind of want to just, unless I do it this way. I could do it that way and it looks like I'm using like less material, I think. Because that's, I, I want it to look kind of flimsy is basically what I'm saying. It's not supposed to look like a, a permanent structure. It just looks like something that's going to break down all the time. I could just like maybe just cut this out and put wood in for highlights. Because I really don't want to use, like, too much of this either. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo all my... Uh... <laughs> Maybe we use stripped or something like that. I 
like I wish there was like kind of like almost like a half slab or, or half brick right there I can use, but this seems really enclosed in too. So like once I get everything in, I'll feel really cramped in here too. Maybe I should just build it out a little bit more. Yeah, I think we'll just have to build it. I don't want it to feel like too cramped in here because that would just be awful. I do not have a set plan, no. <laughs> just so you know, I'm just kind of like winging it. And I don't want it to be too close to this building either, because we're going to have to put like animals and stuff in here as well. Yeah, this seems like a little bit better. Like, I'm already kind of like seeing that it is a little bit better. Okay. And I think what I'll do is I'll start using the wood on the edges here. So maybe we do this. I do want to incorporate as much glass panes as I can, too. Yeah, so that's going to have to... I didn't mind that. This was okay. That part was okay. I think. Either we put that up on here like this. Maybe put an upside down stair on there, I think. That might actually be better. The more I think of it, it'll probably make the most amount of sense. All right, so I think Let's see here. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this very well. Like I said, I want it to be kind of like really, really kind of thin or whatever. And if I could use less wood, the better. Oops. No, you go this way. Oops. 
about went way too far. One too far, okay. Yeah, and I think I could incorporate less wood doing it this way. I just wish those, uh, these oak fences would have like went in there because I would eliminate a lot of issue, I think. I kind of don't want to give it the illusion that it's just like resting on <laughs> I wish I could just do that too. And that'd be another one, unless I want to really want to fudge with it, I guess. Actually, I could probably do it this way. So, like, the most area would be like right about there, I think. We'll just have like a little bit less window in the middle, I think. Yeah, and kind of do it that way, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we'll use strip logs for that. Actually, I probably should just use the ones I have right here instead of making more that I don't need. And I totally need more stairs, damn it. We're going to be out of stairs before we know it. You got to fake it till you make it anyway, right? Whatever I can do to incorporate less wood or this less bulky feeling to it. Like the top part's not an issue, but definitely. Yeah, and then we could probably put a one of those like kind of like right there, I guess. We'll see how this works. If it stinks, then we just don't do it, right? There and there. You go there. And you go, you get back here. All right, and then maybe we just... Maybe actually we'll put more of that in there because we don't have enough stone in there. I want it to like basically be the bottom of that. And then we incorporate wood. Maybe make this like kind of like the fan or something like that. That yeah. might work. Because you kind of like need like a little bit of airflow for this. Now that window in here is not going to connect either. So I think we might have to ditch this. I'd like to keep that in there, but I don't think it's going to. Oh, that looks terrible. No, 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 no. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I could use scaffolding in the corners here. 
and they'll connect that way. I wonder if that works. It could be one of those things that just doesn't connect to scaffolding. Oh yeah, it doesn't. Totally doesn't. All right. So what other options do we got? I might have to just deal with that there's not going to be a window there, maybe. Or just say screw it and just, just deal with it like that, I think. I don't like how bulky that is. I liked how it was before. Like I said, you gotta just keep trying stuff over and over again. Uh to kinda gets right a little bit. Or feels right. Yeah, I don't even like how these fences kinda like jet out. I wish they could just be like right there or something. I think we're just going to have to figure out something else to do with the corners. Oh, hello, trader. What do you got? A baked potato. No, thank you. Rooted dirt. I can get that on my own. Packed ice. I can't get, though. Not right now. I do not need packed ice. Yeah, so we use a little bit more of this. All right, let's figure out what to do with these corners because that's going to bother the crap out of me. I think we just have to bite the bullet and just maybe just use the dark oak. They'll still look kind of like bulky, but eh. better than what it is. I didn't tell you. I would have liked to use those stairs, though. Would have loved to use those stairs. But I don't think it's going to work. Now it looks like a brick. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Fine, I'll just go to bed. Bedtime. Bedtime for Ponzu. So I like pestering my dog about when he goes to sleep. <laughs> Calm bed for him. In fact, he's sleeping right now. Taking a nap on the couch in the basement. That dog's a slug. <laughs> I love how sluggish she is sometimes. All right. All right, let's... I don't think this is going to look right anymore. I'll leave that bare, I think. 
Get that bare. Less wood, the better. Like I said, more windows will probably make it look a little bit better. It's just a greenhouse. I think I just have just enough. I think I might actually just say nuts to it and then like have a glass roof, I think. Yeah, because that like feels like really open right now. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. And then I think we'll just go with the. So once you get the plants in here and, and stuff, they'll probably look way better. So we're going to use this maybe as like kind of like the outline. Maybe. I know it's kind of like the opposite of what I like, kind of what I was thinking about. But I'm just going to use this as like the outline for this, I think. I could have used the dark wood, but I don't think I want to do that because it's just going to be contrasting. So it's going to look like all just like dark, whatever. <laughs> it's going to be used a little bit sparingly, though, I think. Like, I'm going to take these blocks out for sure. Maybe I should trap that trader inside, keep him in there. Drop, drop a name on him. Yeah, I think that will probably work. I'm going to need some more bricks. I think I got more bricks in there. Ah, I hope I have more bricks. I'm going to have to go and make more mud. Or I could use like a log maybe. I could use a log for that actually. So let's just see what this looks like first. I'm just going to use this as like kind of the outline, I think. Yeah, because I want to incorporate as much wood as I can. And maybe we'll put, like, more windows in here somehow, I think. Okay, I'm kind of thinking a little bit here. The more I look at this, probably wood would make the most amount of sense, but... see what this kind of looks like uh -huh. 
And then we could put more more windows in there. And then we'll use like glass blocks on the top. Yeah, because I think that would be okay. But I think this needs to be, this needs to be wood. I think it'll just look better as wood. But I want to kind of like get it out a little bit too. Now, once I put on all of the, uh, all the flowers and stuff in here, I'll probably be okay. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Not too shabby. I want that I want that mud block back though. <laughs> that mud packed mud brick or whatever. Yeah, and then we'll put like some glass over top so it always looks I might have to put some slabs. I think I'll put some slabs on the top there. So I want it to be kind of fireproof. And I don't want anything spawning on there either. And that would be a great place for that uh, for mobs to spawn on there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's go get some more glass. I'm going to have to smelt some down anyway. Actually, green glass would look really sharp on that as well, I think. That looks a little bulky from out here. Just a little bit bulky. We might have to cut some of that stuff out. We'll see what we can shave down. I didn't want to give it this illusion that it's like super bulky or anything. I'm out of coffee. That makes me sad. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of banking stuff this morning too, so I got a coffee and that's not too bad. I like the garbage coffee, I like the Tim Hortons coffee. It's not anybody who's a coffee corn on sewer would hate this stuff. I, I don't know if, how you can compare to in the stuff in the rest of the world, but I would imagine it's like close to like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I don't like drinking crap. It's fine. I have cut down a lot of sugar in my intake over the years. I used to get like the old double double, which is like two cream and two sugar. Now I'm down to one cream, one sugar. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Long time no see. Been busy. <laughs> I've been busy. You doing okay? I know I am. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm not doing too shabby. Okay, so let's see. Do I even have any extra... I have a feeling I used up all of those, all those glass blocks. So 
I'm going to have to smelt every single one of those down. Because I had to use it to make uh, all these glass bottles and everything. I have a feeling these are out now. Yeah, some of these are out. I was going to say, I'm like, I haven't heard any of these going. I had to make adjustments for it. This. Sorry, I don't think I need to get those things going all the time either. Is this, this one? That one? That one has got some. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am not doing too shabby. I'm just doing stuff. Living a good life. So I am on the experimental snapshot. Hopefully we can get all the extra. I guess I could start kind of making them now, I guess. These new blocks or whatever. I have no idea how to make the great blocks or whatever. If I just do that. Uh, maybe it's that one, that one. Nope. Crop doors. Yeah, I have no idea how to make all these things. Yeah, maybe I should just take a stack with me or whatever and then put it through the grinder and I could probably do it that way. Yeah, it's not... I've been pretty quiet around the house. I don't have so much stuff I have to do anymore. No, no more work stuff. <laughs> Man, I must have pissed off one of my co-workers something fierce yesterday, though. I wouldn't necessarily say that this person is my co-worker, but... He seemed kind of flustered. He was, uh... Trying to get a, a price change over on the cashier side. Now, I don't have the ability to actually change prices. Like, I can't physically change prices. And it's been like that for like five years or whatever. So I had to go over there and verbally tell her the price. And she was like, I don't know. She just didn't want to have to um, manually change the price for whatever reason. I don't know why. Some of the uh, co uh, my co-workers act kind of strangely, like it's not their not their job. <laughs> I kind of dislike talking about work, but it was just like this one just kind of like kind of even annoyed me at a, at a certain point. I was like, what the hell, man? You should know how to do this. That's quite the platter. <laughs> <laughs> my wife brought me lunch and it's like the smallest plate that she can get and that thing is like filled to the rim with like cheese looks like there's some grapes two sandwiches a bunch of crackers man she filled that thing right up that's a little bit crazy she even had a little chuckle that she was putting it on there yeah that's quite the plate Tuna. Tuna. 
tuna fish sandwiches. So I used to like eat tuna fish sandwiches all the time. Watch out. I'll finish the other story. Yeah, so anyway, so she didn't want to do the price change or whatever. Not at all. So I had to like... She throws the calculator at me and says, Can you find... Can you change the price for me? And I just like looked at her. I just like... And I knew in my head, she knows where the weight is on this stupid thing. You know where the weight is. So I'm just... I didn't say anything, but I mean, she seemed kind of already flustered. So I'm like, all right, I'll calculate it for you or whatever. But she just, she knew where the weight was. She knows how much it costs. And she didn't want to, like, do the price change on it. I don't know why. I was like, what the hell? She's an older lady. It's just like, lady... You've been doing this job longer than I have. Why am I doing your job? Tell me why I'm doing your job. That would... I'm curious. Yep. Not that one. That over here. This is to say I was basically do, having to do her job, which is like super annoying. I say, I don't know how a cashier works. I just don't have the ability to change to change what it is, you know? Like Alright, so second thing, we need a door for this bad boy. I think the bamboo trap door has like or the door, that door has like a lot of, could use an old fashioned oak door. Which would be okay. I think that one let, lets in the most amount of light too. Like visually it does. I'm just waiting for this all to smelt down. I have no XP anymore. Okay, I think 45 is going to be good for that. Let's try some grapes. They're pretty crunchy, though. I think they're from, like... Yep. A little sour, too. And so I really, I keep telling my wife, it's like a little bit hard to game and eat lunch. <laughs> Not on complaining. It's a, I, I did get her some breakfast this morning too. I got her a bagel. <laughs> One thing about bagel places, they just put it in a toaster and it's not like, just comes out warm and then like, by the time with all the sour cream on there, it's like, cold again. So always have to request to double toast it and actually put some toast on it. I do have to say that our bagels here suck. The two things that are not very good here are the bagels... Actually, I would probably say any kind of, like, bread or any anything like that is terrible. It's not great. Hey, Dolphin, what are you doing up here? Oh, going on an adventure. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Adventure time for that, uh, for him there, I guess. Anywho, let's get the, uh, let's get this on here. And we'll probably put the last of that in there.
This glass will look funky, but I don't think we really have that much of a choice when it comes down to, like, glass or whatever. Like I said, I wish there was a stair for every variant in this game. Like, wouldn't that look a lot sharper if I had, like, glass stairs? I'm not going modded, though. Forget it. I'm not doing it. Really, everything's an experiment. Okay. That's okay. So, the next thing we're going to have to probably do is, like, kind of, like, Maybe figure out how to make this not so bulky or figure out a way around it, like to like kind of like lighten it up. I could put like pots and stuff in here too, right? Like I could just put this there and then like. Oh, that looks really even more bulky. <laughs> no, 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 no. We won't do that. My attempt to make things less bulky is becoming more and more bulky. And I'm not going to have a lot of animals on this farm. I think I'll just have the one cow that I have here. This place is not supposed to be functioning it's supposed to just be there to visit the only thing that's going to be functionable is like maybe the uh the villagers won't be the only thing that's going to be functionable in this place once i get them in of course okay so i got the fences here so we can probably use that Maybe put some coarse dirt in there or something. Maybe I could just put this up here. Get out of my way, you llama. Go away, llama. Go away. There we go. Yeah, I'm an animal abuser. What are you going to do? <laughs> Thanks for, thank you very much. I thank you for the compliment. Hey, screw you, man. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to this that guy. He was just like, I don't think he liked me touch, punching his llama, I guess. Actually, I think he spat at me, most likely. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I think what we'll do is maybe put a, well, we're definitely going to need like a whole bunch of clay pots and stuff. So professional. <laughs> oh, no, just wait. You'll see me do a bunch of whole bunch of unprofessional things. Like, dude, how do you not know that? I'm like, because I don't play it all the time. <laughs> but I do appreciate the comment. Thank you very much. But yeah, we'll 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 get this place a little bit. We gotta get this place filled up, basically. But mind you, I do, like, learn from, like, other YouTubers and stuff like that. I think I do. I do enjoy watching B-double-O. 
I always think he's just like, man, I wish I can get to that level. That's the level where I want to be. I want to be right there. I got a long way to go, though. <laughs> this is more just for fun, though. That guy's nuts with his belt. Not how many days? Um, let's see here. Uh, haven't been on that long. Stats. General. I'm gonna. Remember. I don't even remember where the days are. See here. Here comes the unprofessional part of it. <laughs> I have no idea where the, uh, had five deaths, that's for sure. <laughs> if you're talking about, like, physical taste, probably I've only done maybe about maybe probably about 32 hours. That's a, that would be my guess. I don't know. That I, that would be my guess is that I'm I did about thirty two hours, but on like in in game days, I I sleep through the nights a lot, so like it, it's not really a really good recount of how many days I played. In fact, it's kind of terrible to figure out how many actual days that I played. Okay. So I should have, yeah, okay. There's my, there's those and I need these. Fifteen, I think fifteen might be okay. So I kind of plant. Yeah, I just, I don't look at how many days I'm playing in all honesty. I did have to um, recreate my world a little bit too. And I just started that doing that today. Like I transferred all my files over because I wasn't on the experimental snapshot at all. But I do have to say that um, everything I need is like for sure in convenience. Okay. Let's see how this. Put a, a couple of those in there. Like everything I need is like, hey, sir. Hey, Scrappy, how's it going? Um, like I haven't, like I got everything in here. I like got like a desert over there. I got basically everything here. Can I build a skyscraper? I could, but that's kind of not what we're building today. I might leave that for um, a future build, I think. Right now, I just want to, like, fill up the entire island. My, my idea for the island is just to be, like, just to kind of, like, a sit simple village. And I want to completely fill up the whole entire that whole entire island, which is like totally doable too. It shouldn't be that hard to do. Nah. <laughs> so that's kind of like um, my goal for today is just to like, just get it, get that all in there. Well, not even for today, it's like, ongoing but once I get like I already got the uh, yeah I definitely will build a library I'm gonna have like basically all the uh, all the areas I'm using that house as like kind of like the main house and then all the other houses are gonna be kind of like little shops or whatever that because I got, like, villagers, like, all over the place here. So it should not be that hard to, like, populate this area. 
Like, I basically got one just around that bend over there, so I can basically transport them over here. And then, like, I got it all set up to do it, but I want to build the place first before I do that. So it's definitely going to be doable, and I kind of and I built up like this whole area just to um, keep it like kind of like raid proof a little bit. That's the other thing I wanted to keep it a little bit raid proof. That is the that is that is the goal. Is the goal? Yeah, I am gonna make a shot kind of like a shopping strip, like right down here. And they're all gonna be like the buildings are gonna be like super close to together. That's kind of where I'm gonna go with that. So we'll just do that, that, that. I'm not gonna put too many plants too close to each other. I think that's more than enough. I don't want to like oh, kind of overcrowd it or anything. So one of those. We need some bonsai trees. Uh, I think we need some regular flowers too. I think we need some of those, some of those. What have we got in here? Do I get any blue ones? Yes. Get some corn flowers. I think those are okay now. Maybe put some more bonsais in there, I think. So what have you been up to, Scrappy? I haven't seen you in a while. Just busy? I have been very busy lately. Actually, can we put these in here? I don't even know if we can or not. No. Can't even put those in there. What the hell, man? Yeah, I need gonna need some netherite, that's for sure. That is for sure. We need some red in there. Oh, and it's bedtime, too. It's always bedtime in this stinking world. I'm trying to just get enough... Um, enough to make enough TNT so I can make it kind of worth my while. Or I could just make some uh, fireproof potions and just jump into the lava. I could probably do that. There used to be a bee farm here, so if you're wondering why all these ants are here, that's why. Okay, so I don't need that. Those ain't gonna work. We need to get a variety. You like playing a lot of Counter Strike? Yeah. I used to play that game, now I just. I, I I can't I can't play that game anymore. Used to. I'm not very good at those kind of games. <laughs> I'm actually really terrible at those kind of games. What about bastions? I got um yeah, I could probably raid a bastion if I wanted to. Let's throw some on the ground, too. Uh, some red over here. I do like these corn flowers, though. And... I know where a bastion is, though, for sure. I could definitely raid a bastion if I want if I want to. 
I did explore that nether pretty good. Okay, I think that is okay. We need some flowers on the outside. So maybe we will use these. I'll use the peony and whatever. So you go there, you go there. Good enough. <laughs> I'll leave the outside of it for later, I think. Also, we need like a proper farm farm. So I'm going to build the farm out this, this way and then maybe... I also have to leave room for all the animals. Like, I'm thinking of putting a chicken coop or whatever in here, but I also don't want to make too much. Who knows? You want me to raid the Bastion? <laughs> it's a little bit of ways away. That's the problem. But I know where it is. And I really, I, I, in all honesty, I am not comfortable in another whatsoever. I am super not comfortable in another. I'm terrible. Let's put that here. We'll put a mushroom. Just a brown mushroom there. <laughs> yeah, I am like not super comfortable in another at all. Okay, so let's put that there, and then... Yeah, we'll go and build up the the farm. I'm more of a builder than anything else. I'm less, less of a explorer, but I'm definitely a builder. And I really do not have that. <laughs> I, pref I prefer the build. Over the, over anything else. Okay, let's get that. Yeah, I'm a big chicken when it comes down to that kind of stuff. A little bit of a chicken. My dog kind of knows about chickens. Because he's one himself. <laughs> I am excited about the new wolf variants, though. No border collie though. Always the last, last of a thought is always a border collie. Okay, so let's see here. Now I could probably what I could do is oh and I do have a bucket. Perfect. It's kind of like hide the water under here, like right there. No one's going to see the water under there. So that's my plan. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big chicken when it comes down to the nether. But it is kind of like a necessity. Haven't been to the end yet. Either. All right, let's just do an infinite water, water stream temporarily here. I think uh, the problem with the nether is like it's so contrasting to what the uh, rest of the game is kind of like though. So it's like they're using like a lot of like dark elements like the uh, wardens and stuff. I always think that's kind of weird. There's another game play called Dinkum that I play and it's kind of like that too and it's like well like the mind is like so different than the rest of the game. Okay, so that should go. I think the other one. If I put another water right there, I'll probably be fine. And then all these plants will be still like usable and stuff 
That was my plan for that, at least. Like, when I know the game is, like, gonna be always, like, really, really dark, like Resident Evil and stuff, I'm, like, all over it. <laughs> but when it comes down to, like, games that are just, like, generally always, like, kind of more whims supposed to be more whimsical and happy, and then you have, like, dark moments in it, it's like, what the hell, man? Why? I don't understand that, why they do that. Seems like a lot of games actually do that. I really don't understand why they do that. Okay, yeah, I did get that one. I was kind of thinking whether or not I got that one or not. That is the wrong piece of doit, though. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So we'll let that go. We got a few seeds on us, which I dumped, of course. I always I want to make sure that all the um, brick and everything is on there as well, because I do not want a lightning strike and then having to burn my build, building down. I'm not cool with that. Let's periodically put this in here. We'll get like a good variety in there. Don't you stomp my stuff. You stomp my stuff. I'm going to murder you. We'll destroy him with murder. Okay. Let's roll. Let's go back to my world over here. Yeah, so we'll just go over there and just continue on doing this area. Yeah, we definitely need more plants. And see, I think we do need to make it a little bit bigger, I think. I feel like that place is a little bit small right now. And I think we're going to need some more wood. I think we need more wood for that. I never have enough wood. Okay, where are we? I think I do have some, yeah, I do have a dark wood up there. We can chop down for now. I don't like keeping too much on my inventory because it's just a pain in the ass. It's just too much. I don't like too much inventory on me. Notoriously bad at having like inventory. All right, so let's get rid of some of this stuff. I do have some 
plants I could use. This place is becoming a cluster hell. <laughs> All right, uh, do you not need coca beans? Definitely need some melon seeds. Uh, carrots for sure. Beetroot for sure. Not like I need any more of this stuff. Oh yeah, and some potato. That would give us the variety that we need. And I also need another... Actually, I'll just rob these ones because I don't actually need them here. I already kind of have like a good... You know, another thing we kind of need too is like kind of like a silo, but I don't think we're going to have the room for that. That would have been awesome if I can have room for a silo. And then just fill it up with seeds. Stinking puffer fish. I'm pretty invincible at this point. I'm not too worried. Yeah, so we'll have like more shopping district eventually and just... I'm kind of just doing one building at a time so I can get kind of get the uh, kind of like the layout kind of ready. So if I do everything in one section at a time, it won't be so bad. And I do feel like I'm going to have to probably extend... extend this down, I think. Or out. Have it out more like that way and then maybe down that way. Yeah, so I think I'll use these places right here for like kind of like bends and stuff, I think. Okay, we could probably just do it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how I could see that. That's not cool. Actually, let's just... I think I got a plan. I think I got an idea what I'm going to do. So let's just get all these plants out. Look at that filled up. We can make more if we have to. All right. Yeah, one more character. Okay, perfect. So that should take care of all the plants, I think. Now, the composters are going to be kind of like functionable anyway, because like basically when we get villagers in here, they're going to be utilizing them. So we could put that there. And one right there. And then we can kind of continue on because they kind of need like a path anyway. 
use just the plath blocks right down here. That would be okay. Maybe just pat block those too. And then I can kind of continue on doing uh, the plants over here. So let's see, because I know the water like goes out to like eight, right? So that's going to go there. And I think I'm going to do put that there. And then we can have it come down that way. Like I said, I didn't want to have too many melons or any of those plants or whatever. Though I do want it to be connectable over here. So I might actually just crack it open here. We'll get rid of this one. Get out of my way. And just kind of like not have it like straight to it. I kind of want to like have like bends and stuff like that. It's kind of what I want to do with it. I don't want it to be straight. Let's just put it that way. And if I'm going to do it like it's it's coming down this way, I'm going to have to kind of maybe just start using more of this brick. And start kind of like. Like this, right? And then in here I can like. Put some plants or, or something in there. I can just kind of like hide the water sources, like since it goes like eight blocks out. I could basically hide the water sources just way more in behind here, right? See? See. <laughs> That's what we got to do. So we'll throw some dirt right about there. Yeah, and then I can kind of like just stare it up this way. And then everything could still kind of like grow. Like this should be, this should be able to water. Now, if I want to continue on with that, I'm going to have to keep doing this as well. In behind here. Yeah. Hopefully I won't end up digging this out and then have water spill out all over the place. That's the only thing I'm kind of concerned of. Like, like we already have the water kind of doing what it's supposed to do. Now to cap off these ends, I think I'm going to have to do it this. I think. I think I'm gonna have to do it that way. All right. Oh, it's nighttime, of course. My diamond hoe for show. All right, and then we could just block it off this way. And then we'll have the path kind of like come down that way, I think.
This thing I don't like there. You go away. All right, let's get out of here before we have monsters spawning all over here and making my life difficult. Have creepers blow up all my hard work. Mutes. Yeah, that doesn't look too shabby. So actually, we'll just continue doing this. Kind of make it like a retaining wall or whatever. Yeah, no, we'll wait till these plants finish growing. I could probably just do that. And if we keep Keep the variety on there, it'll be, I think it'll be okay. okay. And then we can put path block, I think, right about there. My shovel is too strong for you, sir. Yeah, and we'll have this one get out just a little bit, and then yeah, I think we'll have to probably put something else here. I think. I might not even put path block here. Or I could just put, like, maybe some flowers here for variety. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. And then a couple pumpkins right there, I think. Pumpkin. Reminds me of a dirty joke I'm not going to tell. <laughs> All right. And that is fine. Now, I think we'll extend this over. It's going to look a little funky, I think, right here. But then we can continue on with the path here as well. Okay. I think we need some stairs here. I think we'll stick with the wood. Oh, I don't like how that is there. I like always having my, uh, my stairs like a little bit recessed in, in the back. I just think it looks sharper that way. There we go. So go down there and then we can kind of continue on right here. Now it's going to have like farm animals there, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I think what we'll do is have the farm animals over in this area right here, I think. Maybe just extend this land out a little bit here and just have like a little bit of an open field here I think for the animals because I want to kind of keep uh, I think we'll put the entrance here instead so the animals can come out this way
this is just going to be probably whatever land. <laughs> I think. All right. So you go back here. Yeah. Maybe add a few more plants and stuff here. Uh, more flowers or whatever. I'll kind of make, make this like a like a secret garden in between a building or something. My mom has a secret garden. Actually, it looks kind of sharp. She just uses like the little space in behind, uh, say like between the two buildings and the fence that she has. And she goes down this way. And I think I'll use gravel in between that. Actually, I want to kind of build that now. I'm going to make like kind of like a, a mock version of my mom's secret garden. So yeah, she's got like concrete or what are uh, rubble and or rocks in the side of this house. And then she's got like little flowers and stuff here. We'll put like a few of these here. A little fence there. Make a chair or something here. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Actually, I think I don't like those there. We'll leave that there. We'll leave that alone and then maybe put maybe some dirt there. Or maybe even coarse dirt. Might look okay in there. Just mix it up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, we'll put like a little bit of like coarse dirt or something in there and then just kind of like fill it up in that way. We'll put some like plants and stuff here too. It's going to be like really kind of like hidden away kind of thing. Even just like try to find ways how to like even make it even more narrow in there or something. That so you have to really kind of like look into it. And we could extend. Actually, let's do that. Since this is going to be blocked off anyway. We'll extend the garden out here as well. I can't remember if I put it's here. I can't remember if it's there. Nope. Okay. I hope these water that water will actually hit over there. I could actually just maybe do this. Throw some water in there or something. Just in case. I think that might be okay. And then these ones will grow. So I'll wait till like at least the... Uh, These uh, plants finish or whatever. So yeah, so we'll put that there, I think. And then our secret garden's gonna be in there. And we'll have like kind of like the entrance into the secret area over there. It's just kind of like a little outdoor area. Once this like uh this building is actually built, like it'll look even more like just more hidden. 
But I just wanted to throw that in there now before I forget. <laughs> yeah, and we'll put that there, that there. I'll make sure that all these are getting some some water anyway. Oops. Not that not you. There we go. Just a little, just think about it a little bit, right? Now, the other thing is, like, it's a little bit out of the way to get there. I just thought about that. <laughs> I wanted to be, like, accessible. Like, I don't want the uh, villagers to have to go through, uh... Through a maze to get there. Maybe I should just put, like, a side door here or something. I don't need all this stuff anyway. This is just for, for show. Yeah, so like at least the villagers can go in here and, you know, do their business this way. They'll never, unless you block the way, then they'll have to pathfind their way all the way up here. And I don't think that's going to happen. I don't see that happening at all, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so this is like kind of like coming together a little bit. I like it. You got the greenhouse. It keeps this is nice and open, which is perfect. This is a little bit open. I could probably put more plants here, maybe put a couple more like right here. Uh, oh, yeah, here's a problem. We'll probably end up having Pumpkins growing on the wrong side. Let's actually just remove this. If I'm lucky, I'll probably have the either pumpkin grow on that side. If these pumpkins grow out on here, that's going to be fine. Actually, I could probably manipulate that one to grow right there, I think. And if I do that, I could probably do that. These are only going to be temporary. So actually, let's just put some dirt there and then it's going to be real temporary. Just going to try to manipulate them to go to the right spot. I could probably just put whatever I wanted to put there anyway to instead of having to wait it to grow, but I'm also, I don't want to Wait. <laughs> I want to be a little a little bit lazy on that end. Okay. So we're going to need some more. I didn't realize I was going to use so many of these dirt blocks because I just they're just blocks I don't normally use. Okay, then we can extend this out. That goes that way, and then... Yeah, 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 this is actually going to work. There and there, there, there. You are coming back with me. Oh, I don't actually have anything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go underneath here and put some some water under there, I think. Okay. 
I need water. <laughs> I covered up that water source a little too quickly, I think. Just a little too fast. Okay. So you go here. And we could kind of like change it as we go anyway. For you, 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 you. And you. It's okay to change it just a wee bit here, okay? Okay, so I have to do that. Where are you? There you are. With my hoe for show. All right. And then shovel. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna need a shoveling. Shovel. Okay. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit better. You know, wait till these all these plants grow and then I can get some more seeds. I guess I could go back to base and get them too. This actually would give me a good opportunity to uh make some lighting and stuff here too. Come on, up. <laughs> so I don't know whether or not I want to use the new... I really do want to use the new copper bulb so bad. I don't know how to make them, though, because I haven't unlocked everything quite yet. Because I had to restart that new world, and now it's just a pain in the ass. I think I need glowstone for that. I don't remember. Or I'm probably going to have to look all that stuff up. Because I'm not used to the new crafting stuff quite yet. Need to get, keep moving. <laughs> I was just checking some messages, so just, please excuse me. Okay, I could probably incorporate maybe some kelp even into this, I guess. I don't think it'll look right in there, though. Definitely, we're gonna have to need some more hay and whatnot. Maybe this would be a good opportunity to like. See what else I can unlock. 
Oh, I don't even have any. I do not have any gold on me. Oh, I totally forgot about these up here. Yeesh. All right. I want to be able to replant this. Oh, perfect. I got three. That's all I need. Or four. All right. Uh, put on my nether outfit. <laughs> I think I'm going to need some glowstone. I don't know what actually goes into the... I uh, definitely need that pick. Let's unload a few things. I just need some glowstone anyway. I don't want to pick a fight unless I have to. Yeah, I don't want to fight those those guys. Oh, here we go. I don't really have that much glowstone anyway. So let's just grab all of it here while we can. I know there's a whole bunch of other places I can probably get glowstone, but this is the most convenient, I think. Now it's dark over here. There's some more over there. Perfect. Don't matter. I can get more. All right, I don't even know how to make these things. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how this works. I know that's how you make the chiseled copper. How's it going there, butter? I can make those. Do you know how to make the copper bulbs? Maybe I have to make those first, I think. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not really to, you got to make those first, right? Okay, so I got that. I would think it would be the copper grates, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, don't make me look this up. I don't want to look this up right now. Too lazy for that stuff. Nobody wants to look at my desktop the entire time. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's get out of here. Screw it. I do really want to get those in there, I think. But everything has to be like, I had to like redo the whole world. Just so I can have the new update. I keep on mentioning that just so everybody's not, not like going, what the hell, man? What are you doing? Most of the time, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. So let's get some more of those. I got some of those. And I didn't think I had so little carrots, but that's okay. I should probably plant more carrots, though. Here. 
Not like it's hard for me to get more carrots. I don't know why I'm even continuing collecting these things. I think just out of collect collection habit. Beautiful. Alright, so... Uh, I want to make those bulbs so bad. Do I have to make like a... Uh, maybe some torches or something? Maybe. Nope, it's not even going to... Not even going to give me the torch recipe. Like, what the hell, dude? What the hell? Actually, while I'm over here, I need... This is probably finished anyway. Yes, okay. I'm going to need more of that anyway. I got nothing in there. Come to Papa. Pretty sure that made like 40. There's probably one hung up on here. This is not a perfect design. That is for sure. The bees! Hey man, how's it going? What's up, Red? What are you up to? You playing Stardew? I've been playing a little bit of Stardew. I was debating whether I was going to play this game or Stardew today. I think I want to get, like, re... Like refamiliarized with it before I start doing that, because I'm almost forgotten how to play that game. It's like it's not like a hard game or anything, but it. I kind of want to just refamiliarize re myself with it. Yeah, but have you played it with the new updates and everything? Because a new update came, uh, shot down, like, about, I think, five days ago. The mines are harder. I haven't noticed that the mines are harder. I found them roughly about the same. Like, I normally at least I'll die at least once in the mines. I'm kind of wondering when the new uh, Dinkum update's going to show up, too. Because that one's got to be coming around the corner as well. It's got to be going there. Yeah, so I did quite a bit of building since the last time I was up here. A lot of building. Yeah, you should check out the new update. It's pretty good. Yeah, I I think it's kind of funny that he was like going to say, oh, it's just going to be a tiny update, blah, 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 blah. And it's like massive update. Kind of funny. All right, so we'll just continue on building this thing. Ah, uh, I think we'll continue using the these 
bricks. And it'll be like kind of like the showcase bricks, I guess. Is it 1.6 though? I think we're at 1.6 now. I'm like, I'm still waiting for his next game. Uh, the uh, Haunted Chocolatier or whatever. That one I'm definitely am a little bit excited for too. But I think this update like ate up a lot of his time. I don't think he was in anticipating to have that much update on this new one. That was that was the reason I think. Yeah, 1.6 now. Yeah. That's gonna be a good game, I think. We're up to updates late. <laughs> I think we can multiplayer um up to eight now. So that's kind of cr crazy. You hear noises outside. <laughs> Old Red's gonna go out there and be like, get off my lawn. <laughs> That's what he's doing. That's what he's planning right now. Okay, let's see how this... Uh, it probably this will look a lot better once we get... That light in there. Yeah, it, it's starting to look a little bit better. I'm leaving this area here a little bit blank anyway. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea if I do this. And just like that, I think. And then I can just like kind of top it off and end it here. Yeah, right about maybe there. Or I don't even have any more bricks. What the hell? Damn it. Give me more bricks, man. I'll just wrap these ones. Screw it. I kind of already know the the layout of this thing so as long as I have the layout bricks we'll be fine I don't think I would ever be one of those guys that tell people to get off my lawn just not that type of dude okay so that could come out that one could come out I'll leave it like kind of like that, I think. Hmm, actually that just kind of doesn't look right. Actually, if I pop that off. Oh, it's getting nighttime. And actually, let's bump this out just one more. Yeah, and then like that, I think. And I'll look a bit better. This will look way better. Oh, did you did you get the kids off your lawn there, Red? <laughs> I was making all that rusket ruckus. Old man Red's coming out there, kicked the kids off his lawn. I thought I told you, and he bring out his shotgun. I know I get like the screaming kids right next door. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he was uh, playing you a tune with the uh, with the garbage can. Okay, so worse than kids. <laughs> uh Red didn't really quit streaming. He's just been busy lately. He's just taking a little bit of a break too. 
I think I've mentioned, I did talk to Red about that one. He was. Don't have to stream all the time, right? Even I like took a little bit of a break during Christmas, like a big break, actually. It's. Yeah, and he's just, I think he's also, I don't know, you'll have to explain it yourself. I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but I think he's just kind of like, he got interested in like um, doing some um, learning, uh, some coding and stuff like that, which he was kind of interested in. I remember him doing that for a little bit, and then he was interested in this new game. But he wasn't streaming it or anything, so. Yeah. Sometimes you just lose motivation for it or whatever. Or, you know, like sometimes for me, it's like, what are you going to talk about? There's really nothing. Nothing really new going on, right? I kind of feel that way sometimes. Even kind of a little bit right right now. I have I don't really have a lot on my plate lately, so it's kind of like hard for me to even have a conversation about like something when you when nothing really is going on, right? It's not like we do this for a living or anything. <laughs> we don't. We just we do this for fun, really. I got so much copper there. I don't even know what to do with this. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to probably figure out. Oh, you were learning a little bit of Unreal Engine too. See, to me that would be like super. That's a little hard for me to do. I don't think I could do the coding. Yeah, that engine is mega deep. That's why everybody uses it a lot, though. Like, a lot of companies will use Unreal. There's, a, like, a lot of companies that use Unreal. We definitely need... To, I guess I could get some more grass seed over here or whatever. Or wheat seed. Easy wheat seed. Like, I'd love to develop my own game. But I don't think I have that mindset to do that. I think that's more the problem than anything else. I don't have a mind for, like, a logical... My mind is always, like, more on the creative side of it. And, then like, something that's, like, I can't logically do. I, it's not one of those things I'm I'm very good at. creative aspect i think i would do amazing at for sure yeah i heard of the fant mod and i saw that uh fant joins power on his discord and stuff like that i did notice that <laughs> You're going to talk about a game with, like, a ton of mods. This game has, like, a ton of mods. It's ridiculous how many mods there are. Very, very open to the idea of mods, too, which is kind of nice. Not a lot of game companies are like that, though. They don't want you screwing around with their, their stuff. I think Grand Theft Auto has kind of gotten into that category of like yeah, I'll put that there I'll put that there yeah he's been modding like crazy I noticed we're we are the last holdouts <laughs> we are the last holdout yes I do have the um Oh, what's that mod? Install, but I actually have uh, Crashlander. 
uh, but I haven't actually played it. <laughs> I haven't actually ran it up yet. But yeah, really, we're kind of like the last, the last of those guys, I guess. We're all still holding out for uh, chapter two, <laughs> which I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not holding my breath. And like I said, if I'm like, I'm not going to hurt, hurt my own brain just to, you know, wait for a stupid game or to update. I got other things to do. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm already out of the mod or out of the, out of that scene anyway. Right. <laughs> I'm not getting the update because I bitched about it too many times. Isn't that what, what, the, what the case was for that one, I think? Okay, we still have to put some, I think some ladders or whatever there. Still really not even, um, I'm really done that building yet, are we? I said I was going to go and do some more of that building. Yeah, we'll just go and do that, I guess. Ooh, you think the uh think you might need a like a rest uh wrist rest or something there, Red? Like I know for when I first started like playing uh games on the computer, my like yeah, my wrist like absolutely killed. And then I got like a lower profile keyboard and I could rest it. A little bit but I don't get I don't get that pain anymore because it's also like I've like figured out my threshold too for like how long I could play a game for but even still I'll play games like right after that It's all about the wrist rest, I guess. God damn it. Oh, good. I can get, um... Uh, I got some cows. <laughs> get that mining fatigue off. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Or you're gonna have to, like, figure out, like, maybe a different hand stance or whatever. Because you're... Like, really, you're supposed to have your hand, like, kind of, like, elevated. I don't know. I play how I'm comfortable playing. I don't... You got a wrist ball uh, and a track ball. I don't think I could ever play, it, play with a track ball. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. It's just... I don't think my arm is made for trackballs. Okay, so let's make some torches, I guess. I totally forgot about the uh, torches back at my other... My other chest. It helps a lot with graphics. A trackball? You talking? <laughs> I may not understand what you're saying. Oh, my inventory. All right. I do have the spore blossom. I don't think I want to put that in. Well, I guess I could. That actually is a thought. I have a thought. I don't know if this is going to work. But we're going to try it anyway. Um, I think I'm going to have to shear some 
Actually, I could probably diamond hoe that. Oh, okay. So, like, little area. I'd like to make an RPG one day. That's kind of what I would like to do. Wouldn't be that hard with, like, RPG makers. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about the mining fatigue. Like I said, I could probably... Thanks, hon. I can, um, probably... Like I said, the creative aspect of it, but, like, the coding, forget it. And story, I could probably do. Alright, so which one am I going to use? I think I'm going to have to use a regular... I just need one of them, anyway. Not my way, dude. I don't even think I even have a regular tree here. Oh, there's one. Ha ha! Nah, I found it. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, we're gonna have to shear those off, I think. I got shears. I got a whole box of them. For whatever reason. So what am I using this one? I don't need that one. I got some shears over there. Yeah, because I did get that, uh... That's what I want. I want. I want these shears. I need some of these. Whoa! <laughs> I did not see that guy. Of course. Barely did any damage. Frickin' creepers. <laughs> All right, who's shooting at me? You gonna shoot me over here, you chicken? Come at me, bro. I dare ya. <laughs> yeah, and I should probably get my diamond armor too. You know, you've... pretty good. Not doing too bad. I am pretty, uh, I'm not doing too bad. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Yourself. All right, let's put my down. Uh, New residents. I ha I think I have all my residents in that game. For now. Um, I'm waiting. Like, like I said, like that new release for that for Dinkum is going to be a while. That's not the one I want. I want this one. And I need to put those shears away. Talking about multiple games here. <laughs> I'd like to say hi to the new guy, too. So, anyway, yeah, like... Dinkum, it's, um... I don't, I don't know when that new update's coming. He hasn't, there hasn't been any... Postings on it, but I have seen... Kind of the new stuff, and it's not like super major stuff, but this, sh like I said, it should be like the last update that he's doing. Like James, it will be the last. Up I I think the last update, and it'll just be all like little updates after then. Or I don't know. Like it, I don't know if he's going to continue doing that game, or he's just going to start 
making another game. It really depends. Yeah, and like I said, like, Dinkum is, like, not super to, um, intuitive either. That's... It needs to be a little bit more... Okay, this is how you do this. Right? Like, some of the basic stuff, for sure. But if you're looking for, like, more unique items or... It needs to, like, tell you. Or... If, I don't know. It's not my game. I think you also, at the same time, you need like a little bit of mystery. Like just a little bit. Some things that you'll just have to discover for yourself. Like the level two mines that like legitimately does not tell you how to get to the level two mines. Unless you already looked this up or whatever. So that's kind of like one of the problems. Come on, get up. There we go. All right. All right. So. I'm going to use a little bit more of those new copper blocks too. To build this thing. Uh, not there. I don't want to incorporate too much of the copper blocks in there or whatever. Plenty of money for trapping. Actually, I've just figured out in that game that um, crab potting is like the best way to go for like so many things. Like I feel like crab potting in that game is like way overpowered, like crazy overpowered. Crap, come on. Need more. Need more blocks here. Yeah, so like, just like getting like, um, some of the, um, crap pots or whatever. You get keys and all this stuff. Like, even if you're not going to use them, like, keys, you can get a lot of money for keys and stuff like that. That's where it's at, man. Go for that one. Not too bad. Okay, so let's see here. Um, oh, I don't have any chains, do I? I hope I dumped one of those change in, uh, chains in there. None in there. Well, nuts to you, sir. Did I put any chains in here? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. That's what I want. Can we get some chained uh, copper one day? All the metals should have chains. You should even get gold chain. I feel okay, so I'll put that there. But you've been <laughs> staying up late. Yeah, that annoyed me to like no end, man. That was like super mega annoying. Oh yeah, no, it's just like go to bed. Come on. I just want to sleep, damn it. <laughs> Like I said, I like kind of like powerhouse things like that sometimes. And that's just, that's just kind of like my place out. Like I'll do that in Stardew too. Where everybody else is like, no, I want to keep playing. I want to keep doing this or whatever. Ah, oh, crap. I can't even do that. Can I? Dang. I was hoping I'd be able to do that. All right. Can I do that? Maybe. Maybe Glowstone? Gonna put, oh, yeah, that'll work. And then we could get some light in here or whatever. Be better with the copper bulb, I think. 
It gives it a little bit of ambiance in here. As the French say, a le je, uh, je ne sais quoi. A little something. <laughs> Yeah, it might, like, the first thing I want to do is, like, upgrade the house in Stardew. I always want to upgrade the house. That's the first thing I want to do. So I want to get, like, the, um, they start cooking and stuff like that. Like I said, I wanted to, I, I was debating whether or not I was going to do Stardew or Minecraft today. And I'm like, I bet you any money right now, there's going to be so many people playing Stardew right now. I'm like, do I want to be in that right now or not? I'm like, nah. <laughs> I do like Stardew though. That's a, not a bad game. I'm always kind of like impressed about uh, one man developers basically. They, they can get one person to make a game. I think that's kind of like why it, um, I think I'm kind of appealed to me a lot. Oh, there's like a ton of people streaming Minecraft. <laughs> but it's just what I want to play right now, man. That's the thing. Yeah, the uh, whole saturated. Um, thing basically, it's just too many people playing it. Okay, so hopefully, we'll get the copper bulbs. We'll throw that in there. Yo, anybody know how to make copper bulbs? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't want to look. Like I said, I don't want to look it up. I'm too lazy. Then I have to like close down like Minecraft, look it up. Sure. She's not very on there very often either, which is kind of weird. I mean, I don't see Jelly on there very much, but in all honesty, I've never talked to her. <laughs> she's on my Discord, but it's just like she's I haven't I haven't spoken one word to this lady. And you said she's like uh, an older lady or whatever. I did watch some of her uh, her videos though. She seems nice. <laughs> Yeah, we can get an eight-man uh, Stardew going. Though I feel like you wouldn't have, like, that much to do. Yeah, I used to do, like, hand drawings and stuff like that, too. I just lost the knack for it. It's like one of those, like, I got really, really into it for, like, years and years and years and years and then, like, didn't get into it. Oh, she's always behind in commission work. Yeah. I see. <laughs> like, I've done some commission work, and it's just like... I don't, I don't really think I have any per passion for that either. <laughs> I have, like, zero passion to do the commission work, because it's like... You don't really get to create anything on your own unless um, the person who's commissioning your work it says do whatever. And be like, yeah, okay, no problem. But I always have a problem with my own creative output on that. I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't, I don't, um, I don't draw very often anymore.
is because the last time I did commission work for somebody, they never paid me back. I was pissed. <laughs> I was just like, seriously? I sh like, I gave them, like, um, some rough uh, versions of what I was doing what, or what I was going to do for them. And he took those rough drawings and basically, like, finished the rest of the work, like, all the rendering and everything like that. And then they just posted it on the side of a bus, and I was pissed. I was just like, dude. And then they said they would pay me, and they never did. So I'm like, screw off, man. It was not cool. It was, like, I, I was deeply, deeply pissed off about that. Nothing worse than like trying to do something and you don't get, you know, compensated for it properly at all. I think we'll just stick with the blue lights for now. Maybe I might think of the copper ones for later when I get it all unlocked or whatever. I'm in the wrong boat again. Yeah, I used to really like doing that kind of stuff. It was more um, comic book work. I did a lot of. I used to do hand drawn animation too. But the thing is, is like I have to motivate myself to do it, and I get a lot of people, like personal friends of mine, that are just like, "Well, why don't you do that anymore?" And it's just like. Because, I don't know, I also feel like I wasn't really that good at it either. So it's more of like a self-conscious maybe thing as well. But that shouldn't be anything. Uh, really, uh, the artwork that I do should be just, it needs to be self gratifying I think that's probably why I'm doing like, Playing a lot of video games and streaming and stuff like that. Like, I do need my creative output somewhere. But at the same time, I could draw that one, but it's, like I said, it's like, I don't think I would want to, because it's, like, not really my own work. <laughs> I could draw a lot of stuff, but it's just like, it would be in my own style kind of thing. It wouldn't be anybody else's style. Be like, hey, that doesn't look like anything. And it's like, well, that's my version of one. So back off, man. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Up, up, up. And away. Okay. All right, we'll slap a... Just a couple of these. We'll need we need some lighting in here. I don't want to throw torches all over the place either. Actually, I don't even think I have any in here, which might be a problem. One day I'm gonna walk in here and there's gonna be a creeper in here. I know it. Okay, and this one we'll just kind of like throw them. Here. <laughs> we won't have them hanging or anything. Yeah, I think that should be kind of where where I want to go with that. That's not too bad. Once everything grows in there and you get like a good variety, it would probably be fine. It'll look good. I still have to work on the secret garden in the back here though. I need more carrots. I need more carrots. Yeah, so I got to work on the secret garden in the back as well. You'll probably just see the secret garden anyway through here anyway, but I also didn't want to like just look at a uh, brick wall either. 
Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to throw some vines or something on the wall here, I think. Once this building is finished. I'll swipe the idea. <laughs> Oh, is, is he an art thief? <laughs> is Fant an art thief? Nobody likes art thieves. Ah, with AI and everything, you're no one's gonna notice the difference anyway. He could just if he's that desperate, he could just do some AI art or whatever. Steal the ideas from from AI, I guess. <laughs> we all knew it was coming eventually. It will just all you have to do is just compile information. Some of it doesn't look too bad either. It's actually kind of impressive that AI art or whatever. I'm impressed with it. Um, what is going on here? This guy's hanging out the Lonely Island. Hey, lazy Sunday. Wake up in the late afternoon. <laughs> what does he got? Uh, milk. Packed ice. He doesn't have anything I want. He's just after ideas, eh? Okay. Yeah, so he's he's an idea thief then. <laughs> he sounds like somebody I don't like. I don't like people who just doesn't give credit where credit's due. Always give credit where credit's due. That's just how I feel about it. But also, you have to take consideration that it's kind of flattering, <laughs> right? Oops, oh, I'm going to keep the course dirt. I'm going to throw those in there. I guess, but at the same time, you should give the credit where credit's due, I guess. Be respectful to the person you're ripping off. <laughs> I, I've never actually talked to him. And that's, I think that's just because I haven't been playing scrap mechanic at, at all. Like, no. <laughs> it's like, not even loaded on there anymore. I need blackstone and uh, actually I could probably just blip. give me some of these give me some of those please Yeah, it could be the, uh... <laughs> uh Carlos Mencia of, uh, of the art world. Stealing jokes. <laughs> but really, what is, like, stealing really anyway like you could say even like for example Tarantino steals as well but like some people just point to it as like an homage maybe like if you look at the opening of Jackie Brown and The Graduate they're exactly the same kind of opening they're both walking through um an airport like you look at the two scenes you're almost exactly uh scene from scene right 
like even uh, Brian De Palma when he writes us uh, when he does a movie, he's like he's almost he's he's ripped off Hitchcock movies like several times, <laughs> like Blowout and stuff. Um, is a knockoff of oh, what's that one called? Oh, um, I can't remember, <laughs> but there's a Hitchcock movie that's exactly like Blowout, right? So, like, it really, like, ripping off somebody, I, I don't really under, it's like, where's, where's the fine line between ripping somebody off, right, sealing their stuff, and then straight up. Uh, playing respects to the artist, right? And I like Tarantino. I like his. I like his work, right? Like, but he like ripped ripped off like a bunch of like, um, particularly like in Kill Bill and stuff like that. But ripoff, I don't know. It wouldn't be the right term for that. I, I would say it's paying more homage to it, to be honest. But at the same time, it's like, where's the line for that? Right? Think about it. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. There's, like... I always think it's just, like... It's only a rip-off until somebody does it better than you do. Right? Uh, I think this might look a little weird, but that's okay. I think we're just gonna have to deal with that. Like, I'm pretty sure people have done buildings like this before, too, right? And then you can, like, think about, like, the subconsciously, unintentionally ripping somebody off. I think that's what that classification might be underneath. The, the category of sub-rip-off. <laughs> My wife hates the word rip off. Just, I don't know what it is. She just doesn't like that word. Maybe because she's heard it a lot of times in her lifetime. And it's lost. Oh, it's one of those uh, meanings that lost its meaning, kind of. Yeah, I think we'll just cut it off there, I think. And then... I do want to get that out a little bit more. Yeah, you got a, you got a lot, a lot of stuff. You're looking at the update, eh? There's a lot to that update, that is for sure. All right, let's see that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Breaking up that like blankness there. Kind of what I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna leave that one alone now. This one I don't care about because it's gonna get hidden by a wall anyway. See, and, and the thing is, as I had a, like a fresh start on Stardew, 
So I started all over again from scratch because I was just like, I enjoyed that. We're going to do that again. But like I said, I got like so many games on the go. It's like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like this too. They just, they play like 16 different games. Like I've been talking to Conrad, one of my coworkers. And yeah, he's got like a couple games on the go. He likes the, uh, the Stardews and stuff like that. He's all about the Stardews. Let's see here. Can we... Let's do that. Ah, got like too much stuff in here. Too much inventory again. Yeah, there's quite a bit of changes. Like he was just going to do it. Um, The original update was just going to be for like modding support and stuff like that. You got really into the dinkum, didn't you? <laughs> I think I ingest too many different games. I do have a problem with like not be able to just concentrate. I, I get I concentrate on one game if I want to play it all the way through. And then there's just some games, like the creative aspect ones, like the Dinkums, uh, the Scrap Mechanic, that don't really have an official end or anything like that. I usually just... I'll putz around on it a little bit more. Okay, so now... I think this one is pretty much finished. I'm going to leave this section right here so i want to get started on this building so i can close it off right so i can get started on the town basically like the main stretch of town that's going to go right in here i almost feel like this is like a little might be a little bit too close to the town so i might actually what i'll do is maybe lay out a path where I can put uh, where the town's going to flow. Because I want it to kind of flow past the Smith uh, store. And I'm going to have another uh, big building over here. I want to make a restaurant. I got holes in, a whole bunch of ideas I want to put in there. I got a few ideas. Actually, we could probably put some... I don't want to have to spam leaf blocks. I feel like that's such a cheap way of doing it. I don't want to have to do that. I might want to put a few bushes here, maybe. Like right here. Like I said, I don't want to, like, cheese it. No cheesing allowed. That's, like, the easy way out, man. <laughs> Maybe put a couple bushes in front there, I think. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. I'm not going to put, like, leaves all over the place. That's the cheater's builder's way. I'm going to make I'm gonna make my building more interesting by just spamming leaves all over the place. It works, though. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to deny that it, it doesn't work, but it's like, at the same time, I'm just like, come on, man. Don't do it that way. <laughs> don't, don't be cheap. Yeah, I think that will probably do. I think I might build a custom tree though too. 
I do like that. I think this area could use a custom tree. I might build it like maybe like right here. And it kind of like provide shade over here. That actually might look pretty slick. Because I think this is what it, this area is kind of like it's missing. It's missing trees and stuff. In fact, this whole island is like missing trees. Right now, I'm just using this one just to like get product or whatever out of. Okay, so let's see here. Might have to hang out at the shop. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that on stream, I think. I think that's gonna be it for today. I think I had my fill. <laughs> I think I had enough. I'm ready to go. All this talk of Stardew just wants me to want to play Stardew now. <laughs> and I just might want to do that. I'm going to... I want to get like too involved and then... I'm trying to make my streams a little bit shorter. I think four hours is like kind of like a little too much lately. I'm trying to chat for four hours is a little bit difficult. Plus, I need to get resources. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Everyone take care. And hopefully we'll see you probably most likely on maybe Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday next week, I think. That's, I think, the only time I will be available. Everyone take care. All right. Laters. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, all that, all that stuff. Because I have to say that. Later.